Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecrafts.com. Well, I was tidying up a bit there and had forgotten that I'd started the film. Sorry about that. Hi, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I work in Scotland. And this week I've been taking part in a blog hop with the Inspire Ink Girls. There's quite a few of us in this group and we do a monthly blog hop or we have, I've been in it this year and managed to get on all the hops so far. So I'm really proud of myself for sticking with it and, and getting going with it. So this month's theme, I'll bring this in a bit to let you see. This month's um, challenge was to make a project and the idea is embossed anniversary that was the that's the theme embossed anniversary so i've come up with an anniversary card and i went for one of for another favorite stamp set simply because it has a lovely happy anniversary um sentiment on it that's a nice one for embossing because it's quite thick and so I thought, well, why not use the birds as well? They're love birds. And look, they've got a wee heart. So where did I get the heart from? I got, there's not a heart in that stamp set. So I got it from Jar of Love. Now this is a stamp set that I have bought and I have not used nearly enough. But for this, it's got loads in it. Loads of fun. I love it. I just don't haven't spent enough time with it. So I really need to put that right soon. So watch for a video using more of this and using the jars and what have you. I know that I have done one using the fish last year. I can't remember. But anyway, I have taken two stamps from this set, which is this little heart and the little firefly. So I'm just going to slide them out now so that I... There's the little firefly and where's the little heart? The little heart. I'm actually going to pop them on a block ready because I'll lose them. They'll stick to something and then I won't have them when I need them. I'll put the stamp set to the side and as I say I've got the best birds here. I'm going to use two or three of the stamps, certainly the birds, the branch and I'm going to put a bit of texture in it. I'm going to do this one slightly different colours. I'm going, I've chosen some colours some of the new colours. So we've got grey granite, granny apple green, coastal cabana and highland heather. So I'm going to use those colours, see how we go. I am going to emboss with silver this time. I've got my embossing buddy ready and where's my Versamark ink? Versamark ink out as well. My desk is really messy. I've done two or three films that today um, I'm not a tidy person naturally. I'm a bit of a harem scarum. Always doing things on the go or on the hoof as some people say. But you know either you like my way of working or you can't be bothered with me and I totally don't mind either way. If I'm not for you then I can't help that. We all have to be who we are. Um, I'm just a normal human being, a normal granny that works full time, loves to craft and loves sharing it with you guys. Okay, so let's just see what happens. So this is the card I made for the challenge and that will be the card that's blogged. Um, the blog will already, the blog hop will already be out before you're seeing this film because we don't usually put the films, our videos out until after the blog hop because we want everyone to have a look around the blog hop. So if you are watching this film and you haven't had a look at the blog hop, in the box below the link to my blog, that's jazzledazzlecrafts.com. If you pop on there and from there you'll be able to link to all the other ladies, you'll be able to jump around the the hop and get lots of ideas for anniversary projects. They won't necessarily be cards. There'll be lots of fantastic um, ideas. Some of my colleagues are extremely talented and a lot more organised than me. So you could go and have a look at them. So let's have a wee start. So I've cut a base card in Granny Apple Green. It's half a sheet of A4 cut long ways and folded in half. It's as simple as that. Then a layer of Highland Heather which is 4.4 by 10.1 centimetres and the bit that I'm going to stamp on 
is 9.7 centimetres by 14 centimetres. Strange measurements, I know, but they work, so I'm just sticking with them. So first of all, I'm going to add a bit of texture into the background, and I'm going to use this little weave. I could, I did think about using my burlap background stamp, but um, we'll do that in another video. So here we go. So I've just got this up here and I'm going to use grey granite to give us a bit of background. Now in this one I just stamped a couple of times. I'm actually going to make build up in this background. I mean it may or may not work. You might not like it but I think, or I might not like it even, but I'm, going, I'm just going to try and make this more of a textured background. I'm not sure how then the, the colour will work because I'm going to use my Wink of Stella and I'm just wonder if no this grey granite let's try it as it I think what we'll do is stamp off and then on right as I say I haven't done I'm doing it slightly different I don't like doing the same card over and over again it's not me so getting a bit of a rhythm going here see what I mean it's just to give some background texture oh that one I did but that won't matter do you know ink paper paper ink pad paper ink pad paper ink pad paper there you go she's done it only one that's a bit darker so what we'll do is we'll just even up and stick one on that side and that corner and that corner right okay enough 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 so that's plenty texture in that background now it might be too much you know the rest might not work but we'll you know we can only try so I'm gonna actually get rid of this because it's although I'm messy I don't like my paper, so I'm going to turn it over. And I can hear some of my team going, ah, wasted paper, it costs a lot of money. But I just work on the other side. It is a bit messy too, but I don't want to get covered in ink when I'm doing this. So the next part I'm going to do is the branch. I'm going to pop the branch in here. I'm actually having another wee think about what colour. to stamp the branch because I used early espresso with silver. I wonder if we'll just do, I think we'll just do black, we'll just use my memento. And of course did I have the right block out? No, I'm sure a lot of the other ladies lay everything out before they start. <sighs> Not me. I always get it wrong. Anyway, there's a block, quite a stained stamp as well, but never mind. So I'm just going to ink this up with my mento and it will be fine with the ink that I'm going to colour it with in the wink of Stella. So just ink that up. Just thought, realised I should have had a wee look at the time. Now, wonder this time I'll bring the branch in from this side. So I'm going to bring it in about there. It's just I'm not embossing the branch. That's cool. That'll do. That's fine. Then I am going to stamp the birds and the sentiment and the little fireflies and then do all my embossing. So for that stamping I am going to use my Stamparatus and I've just filmed a film a minute ago 
and I didn't clean off my stamp on that. It's how naughty is that? I didn't know I was going to do this film right now. My husband uh, is due home from work and I thought we would be having lunch and going out. But he just called to see he's been held up so I thought I could quickly do this film. So of course I'm not properly prepared but he... So anyway, I'm going to pop that in there so that I can work out where the birds are going to go. So as I say, I'm as usual doing things all slightly different way around. So this guy has to go like that. That tail is probably going to be off the picture a wee bit, but that's okay. And then this one, he can balance on this, the leaves here, can't he? What do you think? Or on that leaf? I want them to look like they're maybe... There we go. As long as that branch doesn't blow in the wind, we'll be fine. Okay, so... I think then we need the sentiment. So we'll stick with anniversary or will we do birthday? Or we'll do anniversary because they really are like we love birds. So we'll pop that down there. And the heart just there above the birds. Uh, actually there's going to be a few fireflies if they work but we'll pop them on just with a block in a minute and I'll take these off onto I'm actually not thinking this is going to work too well I didn't think this through but Really? Yeah, we can do it that way. That'll work. Whoops, as long as I put my card on the corner there, we'll be fine. Okay, so I'm using this because I usually stamp over. So, And I don't want to rearrange my stamps now that I've got them set up, so we'll just... And it is allowing for one of the tails to hang off a little bit. So Versa Mark going on over the four stamps. That's the heart, the two birds and the sentiments. We'll do that and we'll do the wee firefly separately. So that's just nice and straight on the foam mat. So that will work fine. Just down once, that's better. Without the foam mat on the see-through stamps... Yeah, they don't, it doesn't reach properly, sorry. Okay. I just had a, what did my friend tell me when she watches my videos? One of my team ladies, she said, I have thought breaks. I can hardly see that on the grey granite. So what I'm going to do, if you don't mind, I am going to emboss this first. Now I did have another scrap of paper because I was doing embossing a minute or two ago. Oh. I think there'll be a few embossing videos around just now because I've done quite a few things with embossing. Um, you probably even recognise the scrap of paper. Okay so I'm going to pop this on there. I didn't remember to use my embossing buddy so I really don't know what's going to happen here. If it's not good I'll bad. If it's not good I'll have abandoned the film and you, I wouldn't have published it so you wouldn't be seen if it's dreadful. But we can go with small imperfections which is just as well. Now there's a big fail. Huge fail. Now, are we going to stop filming? 
or are we going to brush that off and try again? Do you know what? We can brush that off because I have not moved those stamps off. So I've got a brush. Let's see if this can be... Because I'm sure this will happen to you. So let's just see what happens if I brush that off. Now bear in mind what had happened is that there wasn't enough ink on there and it wasn't sticking. So if I can recover this... I will have put the film out. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Pop it back in the jar, Janice. <laughs> Hope you're sticking with me. That's not so usual. Okay, we'll get the stamparatus back out. But you know what? I, I think sometimes people like to see how something gets fixed. Now, if this happened in a class, I'd have to show them how, how I fixed it. So... I think it's maybe because of this kind of carry on, but never mind. Let's put that there. Let's use the embossing buddy because they have got kind of ink everywhere on this. So let's definitely use the embossing buddy. Make sure no finger marks. This doesn't work. This film won't be going out. So you won't know anything about it if it doesn't work this time. I button that in there. Okay, now where's my verse? Am I right? A real decent amount of ink on now. Obviously, this film's going to be longer than any usual because of. Maybe my verse mark needs re inked as well. I'll probably do that this afternoon. Right, so let's go this time. Just making sure this time that the ink is on it all. Yeah, I can. I'm looking under my light just to make sure. Yeah, that looks grand. But I am going to. Thankfully, I didn't clean that off. Method of my madness. So. I'll try embossing this again onto my scrap. Pray, wish, whatever you do. Send me good vibes. I think we're okay this time. Okay, but we've got a bit too much, so we need to... I'm just looking to see if there's um, embossing powder where I don't want it, but I think we're okay. So I'm just going to get this put away. Hey, that was pretty clever. We pulled that back. I don't believe in throwing things out, out, and you know, there's always a way round everything. I always tell my ladies, you know, it's only a bit of paper. It's got two sides and all that stuff. So there you go. I've shown you that on film that I'm a bit resilient. So I'm actually going to put my heat gun on and heat it up. I'm going to switch the video off just for a minute while I heat the heat gun up and then I'll show you this melting. Sorry about the wee break there so I've got this heated up and you should be able to see it melting I'm not sure. There you go there it goes now. Oh. 
one bird more to the top of the bird. And that's the heart. Happy anniversary. I'll just switch this off. And then we'll colour it in. Okay, so that's the embossing done. I've actually decided not to put the fireflies on this one and just stick with the birds and the heart. So I'm now just going to colour this in. So I'm going to use the colours that I have here on my palette with, I've got the grey, the granny apple green, the coastal cabana and the highland heather. And to do it, my colouring, I'm going to use my Wink of Stella. I've used it on a few videos. This one, I'm probably needing to get a new one out. I do have a new one handy. But um, here we go. Just make sure. If these new pads are okay for this as well, but you have to just squeeze a bit harder and squeeze on the bottom so you're squeezing the foam into the lid. And there you go, get a fair bit of ink in there. So I'll just quickly add a bit of green and I need my rag close by. I'm just going to pop on some leaf. Again, I'm no colouring expert. There's lots of people that are total um, expert at shading and all that. I'm not. Do my best. Just do what pleases your eye. Because if you like it, somebody else will. So there we go. That's the leaves in. And maybe, I don't know, will we add a bit of green in some of the bird. I'm going to put some in this one. So some green in his wings and maybe his tail. And this one might have a bit of green up there. I'm going to give this one a bit of green in his beak. It's a bit of artistic license here. So and then I'm going to clean my wink of Stella off onto my microfiber cloth. And then I just take what's come in handy. I'm just going to close that for the moment. And again, squeeze from the bottom. I mean, obviously don't be too hard because you don't want to break your box. <laughs> open it from the right side. So I have cleaned off the green onto my using a bit of the blue and just going to make this bird mostly blue I think. Obviously when you first pick up the ink do that on the bits that you want to be darker. The good thing about using Wink of Stella also adds a bit of sparkle. So not only have I got the nice shine from the silver embossing Let's take this on the head here, up here, making it darker in here at the front and then pulling it back. And if you work quickly then obviously if you see there the inks are blending a little bit there. There we go. I know the part of the leaf has gone into that part but you know it's barely noticeable. And I'm just, I think he's just like a kind of thrush chest here, so I'm just making it a bit darker there. I like that, that's fine. So again, close that ink up. Whoops, don't want to. Um, clean off my 
my brush. Need to squeeze this one, forgot. Right, squeeze it down from the bottom into the lid. And I'm sorry about the hammering, but somebody outside has decided that it's a good time to fix the roof of their shed. But hey, at the moment when I'm filming, it's just, just after Saturday lunchtime. So I'm now just going to make this one a Highland Heather bird. Quite. And I'm sure in some part of the world somewhere you'll have lilac -y, purple birds. Don't have too many of them in the UK, but I don't know. This is definitely a bird of my imagination. Because you know what I'm thinking? I think I can make one of these into a robin for Christmas. And you know, maybe thinking we are robbing Christmas in July. Mm. Quite like to use stamp sets that aren't actually kind of aimed at Christmas. Quite like using them to do Christmas things. So, watch this space. I think one of these wee birdies is going to become a robin. Good idea, bad idea? What do you think, ladies? Remember to leave me a comment from all my rambling and let me know. Do you like purple bird? I'm not sure about it at all myself actually. Okay, but here we go. There you go. Something different. I like the colours together. I'm not too sure about purple bird. And now I've got my finger right in the grey ink pad and I hadn't, hadn't squeezed it yet. This is the new grey granite. I'm not actually, this is the first time I've opened the box and look, I'm oh, covered already. There we go. Clean off. Highland Heather. I just need to do the branch and I'm just doing it in the grey granite. So maybe this is a silver birch tree, although I do think it's a bit more like a fruit tree, like an apple tree. In the stamp set, the blossom, there's blossom that goes with this tree branch. And it certainly looks like apple blossom to me. That's just enough there just to give the birds somewhere to sit anyway. Okay, so not too sure, but it will be used. Someone will receive this card and they'll like it. Clean this off before I put the lid on it this time so that the next time I go to use it, it's ready to go. You find Wink of Stella towards the back of the paper. And did, if you liked playing with inks, if you like Wink of Stella and playing with inks, don't forget about the fantastic, the best offer that Stampin' Up! have got is the joining up offer. It's always the best offer, but right at the moment it's even better than usual. And top of the usual goodies, you can choose 10 ink pads for free. Now see, once you add the border of the Highland Heather, that makes much more sense now, doesn't it? So let's get some glue and get this made into a card. Tombow, stuck a bit at the top. One of my colleagues has a brilliant tip for when you're using Tombow while you're crafting and I really need to sort myself out and do it. She has an egg cup beside her and she sits the glue upside down in the egg cup with a bit of moist cotton wool in the bottom of it so that her 
glue doesn't dry up while she's working so if she's doing several cards I'm having to be a bit careful here because my fingers are covered in ink from putting it in the pad by accident so let's just do this on the back it'll be well stuck down I've got ink all over the glue now Getting myself in a real clert, and that's a good Scottish word. I'm a bit of a clerty. And I'm putting this onto the base card, it actually brings the colours all together, and now it makes a lot more sense. going to find if there's a clean bit of my card and just polish up the silver a wee bit. Give the silver a wee polish ladies. There we go. Have, you usually have to wait until your ink's dry to do that. I've actually smudged a little bit of ink, but not to worry. So there you go. There we go. Some Copacabana with Highland Heather and Granny Apple Green there and silver embossing. Or this one. This one was the Bammy Blue with Mango Melody and Granny Apple Green with gold embossing. Early Espresso for stamping my branch and the wee fireflies and hearts again like I usually say in my videos let me know what your favorite one is let me know show me what you do are you going to use this technique are you going to have a go let us see what you do be interested to see what you come up with because I've dried the embossing off a bit soon before my ink is dry on the paper it has smudged a wee bit but do you know what just makes it look a bit more arty so there's my take on my own card so basically what I've done is case my own case my own card now one of my colleagues what did she say what what did she say for casing it's copying bits but um, altering it as well so so you, I'm copying it, but I've changed it up a bit, so it's not quite copying. I think I'm going to have a wee look up that to see if I can find out. Um, see if I can just to say to you what it was that Heidi said. Heidi said, and hi, Flutter by Heidi. Um, it's not going to come up for me today, is it not? No, I'm not going to be able to. I'll have to have another look at that. There's something wrong with my phone. It's been silly. So I'll um, I'll I'll tell you about that. But it, it it's basically I have copied the idea, but I've changed it up a bit to make it different. So I've usually you would be copying somebody else's idea, but instead I've copied my own idea and changed it up. Used different embossing, and I've used different colorways. I actually like it. I really like the colours. I think the Copacabana and the Highland Heather go well together. Now I've rambled on and on and made this a ridiculously long film now. So please subscribe using the button before and the link to my blog. It'll be um, in the box below. Please pop on my blog and have a look at what all my colleagues have done in this blog hop. Um, and see what, see what you think of their projects. Thanks for sticking with me.